So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about one topic, and that is, is Ubuntu 20.10 too heavy for the Raspberry Pi 4? And when I mean heavy, I mean, is it too resource heavy? Is it, like, not usable for the Raspberry Pi 4? Is it just not a good idea to use it as your main operating system on the Raspberry Pi 4? So, we're going to be going over a few different tests, and just a few things to to see is that a true statement so to get started just to show you guys that i am on ubuntu 20.10 the latest version available for the raspberry pi 4 if we open up my terminal right here and we type neofetch and i am running this on the 8 gigabyte pi it's the normal pi nothing special not the pi 400 and i am running this at 1080p so if i did lower it to 720 i might get a few better results but I'm going to stick to 1080, and this is the latest version in my Raspberry Pi 4 model. So, let's get started to do the tests. So, to get started, let's look at HTOP and see our system resource usage when we're not doing anything at all, just to see how much RAM it uses, how much CPU. So, let's type HTOP, and if you don't know what it is, it's like a lightweight Linux terminal system manager, system resource manager. So we type it in right here, we see we have htop. In our memory, without doing literally nothing is running right now, only this terminal, we are almost up to one gig of RAM. So that is a lot for the Raspberry Pi 4. That is a lot, especially if you have a, if you don't have 8 gigs of RAM like me, that could be crucial for your Raspberry Pi 4. So that is definitely one flaw of using Ubuntu because it's using the GNOME desktop environment, which is really resource heavy and not suitable for low powered ARM devices. So yeah, that is a lot of RAM using. We do have a swap partition, which I don't see it's being used at all right now. So maybe if we went up higher in RAM usage, it would stop, start using the swap partition. But I'm not sure about that. And our CPU usage is where it should be right now. There's four cores, and they're all pretty low because we're not really doing anything at all. So that is the CPU usage when doing nothing. So let's go ahead and open up like a web browser and see how much our RAM goes up, how much our CPU. Look at that. I open up Firefox. Look at my cores. Woof. They're going all the way up to 6550, and if I start opening up more tabs, they will go up. And my RAM usage has went up to 1.2 gigabytes of RAM. So everything is going up a lot. Like if we type in Pi 4, I did not type that incorrectly. Let's just fix that real fast. Pi 4, and if we go all the way up right here to the Raspberry Pi org. So one tab is open right now. I'm using 1.3 gigabytes of RAM, and all my CPU usage is around 40, basically. If we go ahead and open up a few more tabs, like let's go over to Amazon.com, and then let's go right back here, and let's open up a tab of YouTube and see where our CPU usage and everything is at. So open up YouTube real fast. And so this is using Firefox. The test, if I did use Chromium, could be a different, a bit different, but I'm not going to take a look at that. I'm just using Firefox in this video. So right now we have three tabs open, and we're using almost 1.5 gigabytes of RAM, and our CPU usage is all, I mean, it's, it's not that bad. It is kind of high. So... I mean, we can scroll, and our browser tabs are staying open at the most part. So, three tabs in Firefox. It's not that bad of RAM usage and CPU usage for GNOME. If you were using Raspberry Pi OS, all these things would be a bit lower. So, that is about it for the CPU usage and RAM usage of our Ubuntu. Now, to talk about, like... What if we want to multitask? So we have our web browser open right here. We have our file manager open. Let's open up that. And then let's go ahead and open up one more app like the App Store. I'm just going to load up all these apps and see what happens to our RAM usage, how high we can get it. So we'll give that a second to launch. If we go over to Show Applications, it opens up fairly fast. Um, let's go ahead and open up... Hmm, let's open up to do. So we, let's, I'm just open up all these applications to see what we can really get out of our CPU usage. So Ubuntu software is open, and right now if we look at our course, 
we are still averaging around 80 so 80 is a lot our RAM usage we haven't got to 2 gigabytes yet we're not there yet um yeah we're almost there there we're, we're 1.8 and we got our to-do list right here let's just close out of that one actually let's go ahead and open up like calendar so here's our calendar and we can just minimize that right there and our RAM usage is almost to 2 gigabytes. So right now I'm running 4 applications and my RAM usage is about 2 gigabytes and my CPU usage is a bit high. It's not really accurate right now but it will be. And if I want to go more stuff it does the system does feel a lot slower. You can't really tell from the video but it does feel significantly slower while doing this. So a lot of applications open is definitely going to make your system a lot slower on this Ubuntu version. My RAM is almost a 2 gigabytes. So that is a lot of RAM usage for the Raspberry Pi 4. And I mean, yeah. So that is like multitasking on Ubuntu 20.10. It's not terrible, but would you get better performance off a more lightweight distro on the Raspberry Pi 4? For sure. This Ubuntu does use a lot of RAM, a lot of CPU usage. So that is another test. Let's go and do one video playback test on Ubuntu GNOME and see where we are in CPU usage and how the video actually plays. So let's just open up Big Buck Bunny and let's see where we are on these CPU usage stats. So we're go, we'll go to, with the 721. I'm not even going into 1080. It's just not worth it. So here we are. Let's see if we are actually at 720. Right now it's at 480. Wow. Let's up that to 720 real fast. And give it a second. Right click stats for nerds. So we are at 720 right now. And our RAM usage on this video playback, as you see, is almost 2 gigs. So the RAM usage while playing a video is almost higher than we had 3 or 4 applications open at one time. And our CPU usage is almost maxed out. So that is a lot of RAM usage for just one video. And it's not even high quality, it's only 720p. That is kind of a bummer to see that we're using that much RAM, that much CPU, look at that CPU usage, on while just running a video. It's just one 720p video on a Raspberry Pi 4. It's not even HD. So that is kind of a bummer. And you see right now, our, we are skipping a whole lot of frames. And we're not even full screen. And our RAM is almost a 2 gigabytes. Yeah, look at the video playback. It's like not even watchable. It's incredibly slow. That is terrible. I don't know why it's that bad. Before, my results weren't even this bad. So yeah, this is definitely discouraging this is really bad yeah so that is basically the video playback it's a huge bummer as you see so let's just exit out of there and there's new software apparently i'll just do that later but yeah so if we close down everything we see that my cpu usage right now is around it goes down my RAM usage goes down but when I am really wanting to run a lot of applications at one time on my Ubuntu system it is incredibly slow it definitely slows down and goes to a stage where it's not that fun to use it's just like slow sluggish and not very enjoyable to use so that is Ubuntu 20.10 on a Raspberry Pi 4 and the CPU usage. So as you saw, this wasn't very encouraging. And if you ask, is Ubuntu too heavy to run on the Raspberry Pi 4? It's not too heavy, I would say. But would I run it on my Pi as a daily operating system? I would not. It's it's too heavy for daily usage in my opinion because there are more lightweight distributions like Ubuntu Mate, Raspberry Pi OS, Ubuntu XFCE. There are tons of more lightweight distributions that you could run on your Raspberry Pi 4 and get better results. I do understand if you say, well, I love the look of Ubuntu. It looks really clean and pretty. I like the same. GNOME looks really cool. I love the look. It's just, it's not suitable for a low powered single board computer like the Raspberry Pi 4, which I'm kind of sad about because I do really love the look of like KDE, 
known, but they're just really heavy, and I don't feel like they're that suitable to run on the Raspberry Pi 4. And I do want to say this is like not hate against Ubuntu or anything or GNOME. This is just about the Raspberry Pi 4. And other things, I love GNOME. I love Ubuntu. This is just for the Raspberry Pi 4. And I do love Ubuntu on the Raspberry Pi. Like Ubuntu Mate is awesome. It's lightweight. It works incredibly well. I recommend checking that out too for a better alternative than Ubuntu GNOME. But these are just my thoughts about Ubuntu GNOME on the Raspberry Pi 4. And tell me what you think about it. Do you think it's too heavy to use as a daily operating system? Do you use it as a daily operating system? Let me know down below in the comments. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video.